Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. First day of the season. Got to do a Power League video and uh, I started playing a little late today. But you guys can see on my screen I went 18 and 8. So yeah, I always have my KD on the screen if I was playing Power League. Uh, but I started off like, I think it was like 11 and 2 or 12 and 2 or something like that. Then we went like started losing a few. Like everyone resets to M1 from like... I think it's like legendary like plus or something like that so it's kind of coin flippy per se but uh yeah we got some good games i'm also at like a new place i'm gonna be here for the near future uh and my ping sucks honestly i'm so mad about it like i'm trying to figure out like a new isp to go with but my ping is so bad right now like i tested it i got like like 50 to like my closest server which is not that great but yeah we're gonna get in the games i don't want to bore you guys too much Alright guys, game number one. So, I didn't really know what to go mid here. Uh, my team picked... Uh, what was it? So, we went... Spike Tara into their B first pick. Um, and yeah, like, you never really want to pick both your lanes, I think. Uh, but I'll get a nice little TP goal there. And I got a really clean goal coming up. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm smiling, getting all excited about it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you never want to pick both your lanes, I think. Especially if they didn't pick a single lane, because then both your lanes can get countered. The Nita pick could have been a lot worse, but, yeah, like, even the Carl, like, Tar is kind of decent, too. So it could have been worse, but definitely, uh, we could have drafted this one a lot better, I think. Uh, so they're going to mess up the goal here, and I think we almost stop it, but they do manage to get it. I tried TPing there. But my ping was so bad that like it didn't let me. So yeah, I'm definitely getting used to the new ping. Hopefully I can find a solution for it though. But uh, yeah, you can see I get the B pretty low and I did break the wall earlier. So I'm going to threaten something here. B is just going to put down its gadget kind of early and I'll go for the gray tech where you pull it and then TV behind it, go get the ball. Pretty clean goal. I want to show that one to you guys for sure. All right guys, so uh, yeah, next one is going to be a Shelly game. Now, my team, I don't understand what they were really doing in the draft again. <laughs> like I said, the reset's kind of tough. But they first picked Piper, and then my team went Crow and Bell into Piper. And uh, Piper counters both those brawlers. Now, Piper's not really that great on this map, but, you know, you don't really want to counter yourself. Um, so my Crow is going to go down there, and I think I, yeah, I can manage to take out the Piper. So Clay Pigeon's probably the best gadget in the game right now, or definitely up there at least. And I should be, like, honestly, I don't want to keep complaining about ping, but, like, it affects me so much. Like, I notice it so much. And I'm going to take the Piper out there as well. And, uh, yeah, I feel like Shelly, you can kind of play it anywhere right now. Like, it's so good. It's way too strong. A lot of people are playing in modes that it should never be played in. And, like, I don't know. You guys can just see, like, you run around, you, like, be a menace. You gadget, you can kill everyone. Your super's a knockback breaks things so it's like just super strong right now and the movement speed on it obviously ridiculous and it's really tanky because i play band-aid most of the time here definitely band-aid but you can just see it like i don't think i die this game honestly and shelly into like three range brawlers like they should definitely be able to kill me you can see the band-aid going active right there just gonna manage to stay alive 1.1k hp as well and i'm just gonna head back to mid now finish off kill and you know, it was 1v3, they almost killed me, but this brawler is just way too good, and yeah, we're just going to kind of run them over, and uh, yeah, this was uh, another fun one. I like just kind of dodging sometime. So I almost got down at the end again, but luckily Ice got the zone and my KD remained intact. Alright guys, so you probably see me playing a lot of Mandy. I think it's definitely my favorite brawler right now. You can just hit some really cool plays on it, and uh... <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm gonna go down right. I wanted to see if I could like maybe sneak a slow, but decided that I couldn't and it wasn't worth my time. So Mandy is one of the few brawlers that you can just get like a kill like early on in knockout and if it's 2v3, you should almost just win the game off that. So I'm gonna go around and see if I can maybe like get one of the Brock or something or shoot across on the Carl as well. I do have my slow on, but we did manage to get a kill. And uh yeah, like I was just saying, like, 2v3, the Nani is going to use his head, try going for something. I don't know what he did. He, sh he hit the wall. You know, it happens. Uh, so, I've had my slow on this whole time. I do hit the Brock, and we'll clean that kill up. 
And I think I need to hit like every shot on William here to get my super and I do manage to get it. So Mandy super at the start is really good. You'll see like they're probably going to be a little careful of it. No, I think they... I could have went for a super there, but you know, I think it's worth it to save it a lot of the time. Most people are like aware of it. And I'm going to catch the Brock out right there and 2v3, like if we lose this round we're just trolling in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going to go finish William off with Chepo and... Yeah, it'll be a quick little knockout game, and yeah, I'm just gonna go auto aim him, slow him, like, game's over, and yeah, we'll get the kill there as well. Alright guys, so back on open zone, I've been getting so much hot zone this season, I don't know why, like, my battle luck is literally just all hot zone, so, guys, sorry it's the same map, but it's another fun brawler for me, I like Lola on this map, uh, and yeah, it's pretty good into Pam, so that's why I chose it. And uh, yeah, the Pam is gonna just run it down. We first picked Carl, and then they went uh, two brawlers that are not counters to Carl. They did what my team did earlier. So yeah, first pick Carl, and they went Pam, which Carl counters, and B, which Carl is kind of decent into. Um, and yeah, you know, you never want to do that because it's kind of unwinnable if you do do that, in my opinion, or it should be at least. So, gonna use the clone there, and uh, you can see we're just kind of <laughs> running them over. So, like I said, the start of the season is really coin flippy, and sometimes you can get, like, I've gotten games with, like, six masters from last season, and then I've gotten games with people that have, like, 5k, like, 3v3 wins. So, in a few days, you know, the games will be a lot more competitive, so I'm just trying to get out of Ma uh, Mythic as fast as I can. And uh, yeah, gonna get a nice quick win on Lola to do that. Guys, I saw someone in the comments was asking me to go through the draft. This is a terrible map. I don't know the draft that well on this map, but uh, they have first pick, so I think it's fine. Like it's Brawl Ball, I'll just ban something like Shelly. Probably also ban like Barley is really good here. Um, Penny's fine too. I'd probably do Barley, and yeah, he, he got it, Barley's good. You can even do like two throwers like Barley, Dino, I don't think they'd first pick Dino, but you don't always want to ban like for first pick, sometimes you want to ban for like uh, their like four or five pick, um, because first pick you can usually kind of counter, but if they get it, okay, that, we, we should have banned that to be honest. I played against it like once and I played with it, and both times it was very good. I have won both games. So it's not like it's not like beatable or something like that, but uh, I don't think it's very balanced to say the least. So he wants to go Ash into it. Honestly, I don't know the matchups. I don't even know the name, bro. Like Cornelius, Cordelius, something like that. Um, so yeah, he's gonna go Rico. Super questionable to be honest. I think you play a Rico mid here though. That's what people used to do and maybe you can make it work. Hopefully my buddy knows to play, pick a lane, so Sue's fine, I think. Again, I don't know what that brawler does. I don't know what counters it, I don't know what's gonna do it. I, I just know that it's broken, it like, teleports you and like, you lose the game. So, hopefully I can get like a good last pick, I can go like Dynamite or something, or just like something that hard counters them. We'll wait and see what they pick. Alright, so Sandy is a really good stew counter. I think I have to go Dynamite. Yeah, like, I think Dynamite or, like, M's, I guess, but Dyna can kind of carry harder. We have to win the start, though. If they get position, it's pretty hard, especially if they can, like, cycle um, the Sandy Super. So I'm going to go Vision Gear, just in case I go on this side, the right side. And I think Vision damage is fine. I really tried the new gadget since I got buff, but stun's just so good. I don't think I can go wrong with stun. Let's see what happens here, guys. I wonder what servants is as well. You guys might get to see my amazing ping. Oh, okay, that's not that good. Honestly, it's not the worst. I've definitely had worse games today. Alright, not the finest Dyna gameplay right now fine though we're just gonna chill out here a bit nice my mids doing well my teammates are both oh like i don't get where he comes out is my main thing like can he come out right on top of me oh he came out on top of okay all right 
cool brother. Oh, he, he won the duel. I don't want to break my walls. I can hang on to super. I will. I can go on this side, but... Can he shoot through walls with it, though, is the thing? Oh, he can. It broke the wall in a way. I miss my stun. Bro, like... I don't even know what it does. It just goes through walls, too. Okay, he lost. Nice. We'll get the kill. I mean... It's not the worst position. It's good to know that it goes through walls, though. He jumps? That was the first time I played against that. I did not know he could jump. I knew he had, like, a mute. I didn't know he could jump, though. Not... What I signed up to play against, to be honest. Get away from... No way that hit me, bro. This is my first time I've been in it, to be honest. Why is he so fast? Alright, this is live gameplay and, like, my reaction to playing against Cornelius as well. Alright, nice. Good goal. You jumped over it. And he does have his little Shadow Realm thing, so we're gonna have to be a little careful of that. I don't think Sandy's gone to super this game. So, they score here, don't they? They do. Sandy got super, that's really bad. We probably lose now. If I can keep the Sandy. He's like right over here or something. Like, I know he's around here. Oh, we got in between my teammates. Unlucky. I can switch sides. It's just my Stu kind of won his lane. I don't know what he did. But he did win his lane. So I guess we just keep it. Bro, what is that voice line? Actually, crazy. No way my shot missed. I'll go this side. Alright, he's in the Shadow Realm. Pray for Stu. I think I get him. Oh, he regened. Unlucky. Alright, Tar's dead. I'll let my teammate bring that up. Alright, got him. Hopefully they can deal with Sandy. Alright, got him. Those are gonna break. Ah, uh, that was pretty bad. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta be careful of his little jump, because he's gonna jump soon. I think I stunned him, though. I did. I think we lose. Yeah, we don't lose. Honestly, that, that probably is broken. Alright guys, we are ending up on a loss. I blame that new abomination, Cornelius Cordelius. I don't even know his name, to be honest. I just know it's broken and I need to unlock it. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See y'all soon. Peace.